In this video, we'll see how we can use root factoring to find the equation of a parabola. Now, we're given a parabola here, and since it's a parabola, we know that it has to have an equation looking something like y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, our objective here is to find each of the three coefficients, a, b, and c. So let's see how we do this. Looking at our parabola, there's some things that we need to pick up on, or rather make a note of. We can see that this curve cuts the x-axis twice. We can see it here, at x equals to 1, and here, at x equals to 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is give those two x-intercepts names. And I'll call this first one m, so m equals to 1, and the second one n, so n equals to 4. Now the next thing we're going to pick up on and make a note of is the fact that we can see that this parabola cuts the y-axis at 8. And that's the y-intercept, and it has coordinates 0, 8. Okay, now what root factoring tells us is that since this parabola has two x-intercepts, it can be factored, or rather its equation can be factored as y equals to a times x minus m times x minus n, where m and n are the two values of the x-intercepts we just saw. So those were m equals to 1 and n equals to 4. So replacing these two values in our equation, we find y equals to a times x minus 1 times x minus 4. Now that we've done that, we need to find the value of a. And to do this, we'll be using the y-intercept, which we saw has coordinates 0, 8. And so to find a, all we need to do is replace all the x's we see by 0 and all the y's we see by 8. And that will lead us to an equation for a. So let's do that. Replacing y by 8, we find 8 equals to a times we replace x by 0, so 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 4. This leads us to 8 equals to a times negative 1 times negative 4. And since negative 1 times negative 4 equals to 4, this leads us to 8 equals to 4a. And it doesn't take us long before seeing that a equals to 2. So, using the fact that a equals to 2 along with this equation, we can now find this quadratics, or this parabola's equation. That would be y equals to 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 4. But we don't stop there. Remember we said that we were looking for the coefficients a, b, and c. So we need to distribute these two parentheses. This leads us to 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 4, and finally distributing the 2, we find y equals to 2x squared minus 10x plus 8. And there we have it. We now have this parabola's equation. Let's look at another example. Consider this parabola. Again, since it's a parabola, we know it has to have an equation y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. And now looking at this curve, we see that it doesn't cut the x-axis twice, but rather it only touches it once here at x equals to 2. So we're going to go ahead and call this value of x m equals to 2. Just as we did before, we can also see that this parabola cuts the y-axis, and it cuts it here at 8. So that's the point, the y-intercept, with coordinates 0, 8. Now, what root factoring tells us is if a parabola only touches the x-axis in one point, then we can factor its equation as follows. y equals to a times x minus m squared. And we just saw that m equals to 2. So that's y equals to a times x minus 2 squared. 
Now to find a, we're going to use the coordinates of the x-intercept. Those were 0, 8. And so we replace y by 8 and x by 0, leading us to 8 equals to a times 0 minus 2 squared, which leads us to 8 equals to a times negative 2 squared. And since negative 2 squared is 4, this leads us to 8 equals to 4a. And once again, we find a equals to 2. So now using the fact that a equals to 2, along with this equation here, we can find this parabola's equation, and that would lead us to y equals to 2 times x minus 2 squared. We now carry on. That's 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. And finally, we distribute the 2 across those parentheses, leading us to y equals to 2x squared minus 8x plus 8. And there you have it. That's this parabola's equation. Now I'll finish by adding one thing. If we're given a parabola which doesn't touch or cut the x-axis, then we cannot use root factoring to find its equation. Remember, root factoring will only work if the parabola cuts the x-axis either once or twice. And there you have it.